was my determination. I was a very determined girl. I explained to you my belief, the attitude of ABC. There was a very strong B in me, a belief in me that if I work towards a goal, I will achieve it. And when I was growing up, I did not want to lead an uh, lead a life of dependence. I wanted to lead a life of independence, self-dependence. I wanted to lead a life of self-reliance. And self-reliance for giving, not self-reliance for selfishness. Self-reliance for national service. So nation was my goal and determination was to reach that position which enables me to serve my country and my society and my people till the last breath of my life. So it was sheer determination with a clarity of mind as to how will I achieve my belief, my belief in self-reliance and caring, giving. The next question is, when they introduced you, they said you have worked with school children. Many of us here are training to be teachers. Do you have anything to say? Plenty. I have plenty to say. You can't be in a better mission. If you are teachers, then you cannot be in a better profession. Each one of you is a nation builder. If you are a teacher, this is the most noble profession. Because you are shaping lives. When you are a teacher, you shape lives. You inspire children. You sow the seeds of all what we talked about as a teacher. Children listen to the teacher. So be real teachers. Teachers of the Krishna and the Ramakrishna times. Teachers who made the, the Rama, Lord, Lord Rama or Arjuna. What kind of teachers? Be the Dronacharyas. Be the teachers. Those teachers who inspired love for education. Love for character building. Love for values. You will earn your livelihood for, by teaching. But you are not teaching for livelihood. You are teaching for building lives. You are not teaching for livelihood. You are teaching for building the life of a nation. Because each person is a pillar of this country. Each person is a pillar on which the nation stands. And each child, when well taught, will be a true Indian, will be a truly a global citizen. So teach yourself every day, re-teach before you teach. Outside the class, remain a student. In the class, become a teacher. Outside the class, remain a learner. Inside the class, become a teacher. If you do this, you will continue to upgrade your teaching skills. You'll continue to learn and continue to impart. Your teaching will always be up to date, modern, relevant, deep, wisdom. Pass on wisdom through your teaching. I've been a teacher. I started my career as a lecturer in political science in an Amritsar Khalsa College. I was a teacher. And that teaching, the spirit of teaching, came into my police service. I loved teaching. I loved teaching. To my mind, teaching is the best service to humanity. But the teacher must remain a student all his life. Teacher must remain a student all her life so that the teacher, students love you. When students would love you, you are the right teacher.
but if the students don't love you you're not doing you're not a teacher you're in imposition you're in imposition you are taking away their time and wasting their time so be a teacher which you invest your time is it practically the question is is it practically possible in india to develop youth power to face the day to day challenges of unethical practices prevalent in almost all walks of life yes of course it's the way we are as a collective community if we all choose to break the law will any policing help today if we all choose to break the law how many how many of us can be arrested by the police 20 100 200 but not 2000 and if we choose to break the law all the time police will remain only symbolic country and the city will have no law and order and who will be the law breaker we we the society but if we all choose to become honest the level of integrity will go up in the country what if we all choose to be become dishonest then the honest will probably have to run out run away from this country there will be no place for them if we all choose to be honest there will be no place for dishonest at the moment we have given up we have started to acquiesce with them means we have started to become party to corruption party to violence party to falsehood party to hypocrisy party to surrender party to giving up and we accepting small small deviations and small deviations which become big we have to make a choice what kind of new generation do we need what kind of india do we need the answer is individual and collective it begins with the person when i told you when gandhi ji said be the change as you want to see you be the change begin with yourself as swami ji also said you be the change you begin with yourself begin with your inner self you owe it to yourself to be ethical and i told you as i said ethics begins with small things small things make the difference it's like it's like saying if you take care of the pennies pounds get taken care of if you save if you're careful with your pennies pounds are saved but if you're not careful with your pennies pounds are lost if you take care of the rupees thousands are saved but if you care take care of only thousands rupees are gone and which which you will be left with nothing so friends it's like taking care of ethical values here it is possible to my mind it's possible we only have to take individual responsibility what's going wrong with india today is passing it on to others rather than we ourselves second is do you agree that the major reason for moral decadence in our society is the breakdown of family values yes yes and who is responsible for family values the father and the mother and the children children not listening to the parents and parents not spending educating the children both ways the family means parents and children and the grandparents who are parents so parents are no, not educating they are not being role models when i was growing up somebody used to ask me who were my role models and i used to say my father and my mother because they were practicing what they were preaching they were doing what they were telling us to do so it's possible 